Michael, um, can I can I ask one of you? Oh, uh, Andy, you always get me. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is bull. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, go ahead, Andy. That's the perfect tee up. Um, how did you come up with uh, our value proposition is to enhance yours? Well, you know what? The, when we were trying to figure out the best way to... So, so the think tank process really was started when Guillermo and I were at Global X. And it was this process of if we help advisors, they'll listen to our ideas. Right. Um, and then when we moved to Fulia Bia Toroso, we're like, well, we're not selling one group anymore. We're promoting the whole industry. So we had to come up with a new value prop, right? And we probably debated the value prop for like six months. We'd come up with one. Leanne would make a bunch of, of art to support it or design to support. Then we'd come up with another one. Da, 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 da. And I don't remember what the day was, but after back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, we just said, look, all we're really doing is making other people's businesses better, right? Like we can't figure out what our value prop is, but we can make yours better. So, so that became the value problem. <laughs> um, so we do that for advisors and we hope those advisors are open to our sponsors ideas. That's the big secret to why we've done all this stuff. Um, Thank you for the backstory. Yeah. It's, it's funny cause it, it's clear now. I, I can remember six years ago, I was in Spain with Dave Nodick and he goes, Mike, everybody knows you, but nobody has any idea what the hell you guys do. Well, now you all know. <laughs> so we do all of this. <laughs> so, and, and it's funny because I think it's an extension of our culture. And when I'm on calls, a lot of advisors as an introduction say, I don't understand your business model. Just you know, can you just tell me how you guys make money? Right. And 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 to some degree, what we do is just simply to foster innovation in the ETF marketplace, which I think is really important. Um, and that's what we're about. So that's my comment on that. And I will say that we live the gig economy in honor of Dave Chikansky. Uh, <laughs> well, it's funny because like, um, you know, we all have to have these disaster recovery plans, you know, for situations like we've dealt with this year. It was almost zero disruption to how we work. We're 25 people in seven different states having used go to meeting in Zoom this way for years. Um, can, 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 can I play off that for a second? Because I feel like yeah. I joined February 1st and it's felt like a disaster every day. So what's the non-disaster day-to-day look like for Tarosa? That's self-imposed though, man. You self-imposed. Yeah. That's part of the, the Tarosa culture. We all overwork, but it's not like we force it. It's, you know, we choose to. I mean, I don't know what a weekend is. I think, <laughs> I think 2021 is the answer, Guy. The views and opinions expressed during this event are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of the sponsor or organizer. Information set forth during this event has been obtained or derived from sources believed by the participants to be reliable. However, neither the sponsor nor the organizer make any representation or warranty express or implied as to the information's accuracy or completeness. Nor does the sponsor organizer recommend that the information shared during this event serve as the basis of any investment decision, and it has been provided to you solely for informational purposes only, and does not constitute an offer or solicitation of an offer or any advice or recommendation to purchase any securities other than financial instruments and may not be construed as such.